Hi, I'm Petri Yuga, and I'd like to welcome you to these tutorials by String Virtuoso. Today I would like to talk about Mikhail Glinka, Sonata, originally written for alto. In this period, when he wrote it, 1834, he was actually in Germany, like 1833, and his father died, so he moved back to, to Russia. Glinka was so-called the father of the classical music in Russia. So in his music we can hear this Russian melodies and singing and he also composed operas. So we can hear this in his music, this um, libretti, these exchanges, these sequences, this exchanges between voices. And um, here in this sonata, it's a lot of dialogue between the piano. So piano starts the same theme, like um, the bass or the alto does. And um, so it's written Allegro Moderato, the fourth is 132. I prefer it personally to play it a little bit more in the moderato side to have this cantabile. Of course, it should be not static, so it should be fluid. So have the fluidity of Allegro by the singing of a moderato. So it starts with piano in the same theme and we take over when the piano is here on party. So it's coming with an up bit and I start in the upper side of the bow because I'm going to make a Christian and then on this higher E flat to have it at the frog. So it's a sequence. It's this passionate uh, way of writing a music that we repeat and uh, we make segments. So we kind of repeat the same thing. So here is a case. And then of course we come to this higher E flat. Uh, here we have a sforzato, but here will be a sforzato more expressive and not really harder than, uh, or not hard, but, and it's not the most important note of this beginning. So actually, like I said before, it will be the E flat and Sol. It's more uh, a pain, uh, um, a passion, this forzato then a uh, high point of the phrase. And then it's a subito piano again. We have these accents, but I do it mostly uh, from the vibrato. And here we have to go to, to the higher point um, here. So, this is a, also a nice line that we have to show. Uh, accent, uh, expressive. Uh, support. So this sustenuto of the bow, the bow technique, we have also in other pieces, in other tutorials talk, that um, the challenge is to, to make a crescendo, decrescendo, down bow and the crescendo a bow and have a nice legato. And this I do it actually with the speed of the bow. Of course the weight increases with the speed. So that's why I start with less bow, more bow. So then I have really this um, free sound, a nice sound 
and with the vibrato actually I help to get this romantic this dramatism of this uh, of this uh, passage so there up I take the thumb away with vibrato to have a nice um, large wide amplitude vibrato so um, if I put it down in this position it will be too fast and probably um, narrow vibrato so I like more wide because it's the highest note and I like that it's really singing more like a Russian so and then with accents and accents generally we do it with a little speeding up the bow and release but also with the with the vibrato the same way <laughs> 